I'd like to introduce our third paper uh, that uh, is titled Transanal or Transabdominal Specimen Extraction After Laparoscopic Left Colectomy, Clinical Prospective Evaluation of Peritoneal Contamination Risks by Dr. Uh, Leroy from uh, Hospital of Strasbourg in France and his colleagues. Okay, Mr. Moderator, your colleague. It's not a flexible uh, approach, but it is uh, one of the tricks we will use in flexible uh, approach when we will do particularly uh, minimally access as notes procedures, full totally notes or hybrid notes, sigmoidectomy or colectomy. And um, is it new? First, I have no disclosure. Not really, because we see that uh, Maurice Franklin proposed uh, um, in the uh, uh, beginning of the 90s the um, transcendental extraction, and since he performed routinely this procedure for benign and uh, oncologic resection. Why? In doing that, to have potential advantage, reduction of the size and length of the associated abdominal incision, to reduce also the risk of wound descent and herniation because uh, the size of the uh, um, extraction of the specimen is a larger incision uh, than the trocar site and uh, to reduce perhaps the um, uh, risk of uh, uh, infection of the trocar site or the incisional site and uh, minimize also the skin scarring. But potential risk risk of contamination, peritoneal contamination by uh, bacteria and uh, risk of infection, uh, risk of contamination by cancer cells and uh, oncologic uh, dissemination, and also anorectal um, uh, functional risk concerning the sphincter when we have to remove huge specimen. The purpose of this study is to evaluate the bacterial contamination uh, during uh, different laparoscopic sigmoidectomy with transabdominal or transanal specimen extraction. We have included a uh, um, patient uh, during one year to evaluate um, the contamination risk and uh, infection risk. We have excluded the patient, we have included uh, in this study only the patient uh, after left colectomy, sigmoidectomy mainly, without abdominal infection because it's uh, impossible to evaluate the risk, intra-abdominal bowel opening. This is for the case of uh, uh, laparoscopic approach where the um, anastomosis is prepared outside before doing the anastomosis inside. Patient also with uh, cancer for the transanal extraction, BMI above 30 for the transanal extraction too. We have excluded this uh, patient at the beginning. Now we are including this kind of patient. And when patient had a transvaginal extraction, we don't do uh, uh, this. We have not included the patient in the study. And also after laparotomy. What was the technique used? It is a technique of ligation of the colon Distale, after we will see in the video, we have uh, divide the meso, mobilize the sigmoid, and ligate the low sigmoid with um, extracorporeal nodes, sutures. Then, after cleaning the rectal stump with the betadine solution, we um, uh, divide the colon uh, just above the colorectal junction. Then, uh, we do a suspension of the rectal stump through uh, trocar and introduce a forceps to grasp a loop a position at the extremity of the colon to pull the sutures transanale without dilatation of the sphincter. We are surprised because when we pull the specimen, there is a small resistance around the a sphincter and progressively a dilatation of the sphincter as during the defecation. We exteriorize the stenotic part, we incise the colon and introduce the anvil connected to a sutures, big sutures, number two, decimal two, and we push the anvil in the proximal colon under laparoscopic control. 
Then we divide the column using a stapler and trap dominale with the meso and dividing the sutures, not in this case because the suture was not trapped in the staples. We complete the division of the meso eventually and we divide the sutures and do the extraction of the specimen transanale. We control the specimen. Now we have to close the rectal stump. For that, we can use in new sutures and introduce a stapler into the trocar to close the rectal stump on the eye rectum using one or two cartridges depending on the size of the rectal stump. The system will be removed and we do the anastomosis after we have finished the exteriorization of uh, the anvil. We will do using a hook to do the extraction and making the anastomosis as you will see in a few seconds. This is the uh, incision. We remove the pick and we will exteriorize before doing the anastomosis. What are the results? We have included more patients than we have on the abstract. We have 50 patients now, 27 transabdominal, 33 transanal. We have uh, similar uh, data concerning sex and uh, concerning uh, operative time. You see that there is similar uh, time to operate with no more complication. What it is interesting is to see that uh, the sample we have uh, examined, there was no bacteria in the direct examination. But all the samples after transanal extraction were positive. Only 85% were positive in transabdominal. And uh, this is surprising. No difference between both. No more complication. In conclusion, transanal extraction of colonic specimen is not a new technique. There is always a contamination, but no more infection. This can allow to begin, eventually, new approach as single port and not procedures. But Standardization is necessary. Thank you for your attention. This very interesting paper is now uh, open. We have time for one or two questions. If anybody wants to come to the microphone, Dr. Kaczynski, would you introduce yourself? Yeah, Lauren Kaczynski from the Medical College of Wisconsin. So, very interesting technique, and also applaud your effort to try to um, uh, ascertain the contamination. I'm interested in um, anastomotic leak rates, whether they were different between the two procedures. I'm assuming not, but just to be clear. And the other thing is we'd seen in one of the robotic sessions uh, doing a purse string suture for the closure of a rectal stump with extraction. How did you decide on using a double staple technique and you're already suturing, why not suture? I'm not, I'm not well, well understood your question. Double stapling? The first question uh, would be anastomotic uh, leak rate. Were they anastomotic leak no, we have the no same? more complication, no complication in the, all the cases we have uh, uh, operate using transanal or transabdominal. And then the second thing was your technique for um, closing the rectal stump. You stapled. We'd seen uh, suturing done robotically, I w and you were also suturing. I wonder how you chose to do a double stapled anastomosis rather than a purse string and a. It's not exactly a double staples. It would be a triple staples yeah. technique because we have. Yeah. Uh, two uh, stapling lines, one on the rectum, one on the colon, yes. and the third one with a circular. But as you have not completely seen, the um, uh, circular line will be localized on the corner, on the anti yes. side. So we have a tennis racket um, uh, um, technique for doing the anastomosis. But we can do a side to hand anastomosis because we can exteriorize the anvil everywhere we want because yes. it's a fishing technique for yes. um, um, pulling the sutures where we want to do the anastomosis. 
So um, I'm using that because it's easy, yeah. using a stapler um, for closing, and it's safer and more reproducible in the maximum of N, and probably cheaper than using a robot for doing a sutures only. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, Dr. Marks. John Marks from Philadelphia. Congratulations on another wonderful presentation. I was wondering if you could uh, share with us for larger specimens, oftentimes for an inflammatory issue or a larger tumor, did you find it difficult to exteriorize that through the rectum and how did you handle a larger specimen or did you just not use this approach for someone who you were concerned about that issue? No, there is a limit for this kind of uh, specimen extraction. That is the size of the rectum, the size of the specimen we have introduced through the rectum. Um, when uh, uh, we do this surgery, we do it uh, um, uh, with a selected patient. And uh, it is uh, why huge um, uh, meso are uh, not a good indication or contraindication. Um, what we can do, what was proposed also by uh, Maurice Franklin, is to split the colon from the meso. And finally, you will reduce the size and you will um, uh, have uh, the possibility to remove very huge specimen. But there is a limitation that is the size of the specimen. Thank you very much.